a lot of black people play that victim card mm-hmm. and they always try to point out all of the flaws and the wrong things and the approach and the other person not realizing that they doing all of the same things. I honestly think that the black community has become the most racist ones out there. We become the biggest haters. Yeah. We, we the biggest haters. We even hate our own people. Yes, sir, Ski. This is the Hood Analyst Podcast. We talk about that real hood shh. Now, today, we got a very special part two episode because the last episode we did on this topic has so much good reception. I honestly didn't think that so many people would agree with us. First, before I introduce the topic, like, subscribe, and share. Y'all been doing a great job sharing. Y'all making us feel like we putting out some real quality content for y'all. I know we could be funny sometimes. I know we could be serious sometimes. And I know we could be both. But we really put in our heart and soul into this. We write outlines. We really try to put our best foot forward when it comes to this content. Today, the topic is black people again. And I'm going to start off with something that might be a little bit triggering, but I feel like it got some truth to it. Black people been through a lot. Mm -hmm. We've been through a lot of shit. Um, A lot of people have been very, I would say, racist towards us. But you know what the crazy part is? I honestly think that the black community has become the most racist ones out there. Mm, Talk to them. Black people are racist now. Elaborate. So literally, and this is against all races, right? Talk to them. Anybody that's not black that does something to them, they're racist. (laughs) Like that's crazy. Just just because, and the crazy part is nobody looks to see what you do in the context of it to have that next person think about you differently. Absolutely. They never think about what warrants the stereotype Mm -hmm. or what warrants the behavior Mm -hmm. that you know what you know what it is a lot of black people play that victim card Mm -hmm. and they always try to point out all of the flaws and the wrong things and the approach and the other person not realizing that they doing all of the same things Mm -hmm. and they probably did it first Mm -hmm. and they're, they're quick to say that Anything that doesn't benefit black people, they're quick to say that. And it comes from another race. They're quick to say that it's racist. Talk to them. Mm-hmm. Talk to them. Black people definitely have become a little bit more skeptical when it comes to having open arms with different races. I remember when I was growing up, black people was probably the most loving people on the planet. Um, they were the most hated. Damn. Yeah. We, we, we're now, the most hateful. Yeah, we're the biggest haters now. Yeah. Black, black people are the biggest haters now. Yeah. Um all we talk about is shit that we hate. We don't yeah. even know how to talk about things that we like anymore. Yeah. Like, honestly, like the victim card, bro. Like, they'd be like, oh, just because they didn't accept me from that, for that job. Oh, they're, they're just racist. <laughs> like, bro, maybe you don't have a degree. Maybe, maybe you don't qualify. Yeah. Maybe you couldn't talk. Maybe you didn't dress well enough for the, the interview. You know, you didn't present yourself well. Maybe think about those things before you, you're quick to say that they're racist. You feel what I'm saying? Black people want you to accept the bare minimum. Mm, if elaborate. they if they open up a business, the service is trash. I'm only saying it because I've experienced it more times than not. I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. Mm-hmm. And they're never professional, bro. Mm, talk to them. Like when I say like when it comes to black owned businesses, you always got to worry about are they going to be on time? Are they going to have good communication? Are they going to provide good customer service and not get mad when you have something that's wrong with their service? That's a fact. And they expect you to uh, pay the top price for shitty quality, you know, service, which is insane to me. That's a fact. They want the le- the, the the biggest reward for the least work. Mm-hmm. Uh, why do you think that is? Because they don't want to work. Most black people are lazy, bro. But why? But why? Yes. Why do you think so? I know why. Honestly, I think that, you know, they just expect everything to just be handed to them. Exactly. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was going to say handouts. That's why you got to be you got to be real cautious about who you lend a helping hand to. I personally feel like I got a huge, big heart, but um, I had to learn how to be selective with it. Yeah, because I could put like this. If you are in a crew, right? 
and you become rich or whatever, or you become wealthy, they just expect you to just give them money for talk to them. And that's crazy to me, bro. Talk to I'm the one that worked hard to get all this stuff and you expect me just to give you money because you're my boy. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That's a fact. That's a fact. You're not doing anything to help me get this money. You're not trying to put yourself in a position to make this money with me. And you just want to continue to do the same thing that you're doing. And I'm supposed to just hand you because you're my boy. Get the fuck out my face, bro. That's a fact. Another one. Leeches, bro. Black people don't respect authority. Mm, No matter if it's police or anybody that's higher up than them, they don't respect it. Because everybody thinks they want to be a boss and they think that nobody can speak to them. Well, guess what? It takes work to become a boss. And if you're not there yet, guess what? You're going to always have somebody over you. That's a fact. That is a super fact. Um, (sighs) They don't don't respect uh, being told anything. (laughs) <laughs> they think they always right. <laughs> That's a oh, black people think they always right. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> yep. Uh, black women don't respect a good man. Mm, talk to them. They do not respect a good man. If you got a regular job, if you're trying to build your way up in society, and you're not rich already, they do not give you the time of day. Mm-hmm. And to be honest with you. We glorify the street motherfuckers too much too. Absolutely. And not the good man. Absolutely. Because guess who the women are, are going for? The drug dealers, the scammers, the so-called the killers. You know and the saying? dude that graduates college is corny. Yep. The dude that's working a nine to five that's trying to build his uh his uh his wealth the right way is corny. Any blue collar workers, corny. Corny. That makes no sense. People that work in uh and traffic, working on the roads, people is that blue collar? Yeah, yeah that yeah, that's blue yeah, collar. Blue. Uh traffic, working on the roads, um, building things, building buildings, architecture, all of that, you corny. Yeah. And then the crazy part is this is why we continuously have these type of cycle. So the good men are the ones that are the ones to be kept. And you're going for the ones that just want short short term. Mm. Or can only do short term. Talk to them. Like, Talk to him. You think that going with a street nigga, like, bro, he's going to get bagged one day. <laughs> and not only just get bagged, if you're trying to have a family with him and he has ops, now you're putting your family in danger because you want to deal with a Damn. Like that. Talk to that. him. Yeah, you got to elaborate on that. The company that you keep, mm-hmm. you, you really put in your... You know what? I'm going to tell a little story. And I know this is... I, I'm I'm a... I'm going to get right here. So, and he knows this. I started, so I'm a studio engineer, right? And I had a studio in my crib, living with my family. And at the time, I was making pretty good bread. I didn't need a nine to five job. But that's the problem with black people. I put the bread before everything. Not until I moved out and moved my studio out of the crib. That's when I finally realized like, yo, I was putting my whole family in danger Mm -hmm. every day, every day after I finished, uh, after I moved out and didn't have the studio time in my crib anymore. So many of my clients came back to me and was like, yo, come on, you know, niggas was bringing guns to your crib, right? I was like, I I, I wasn't even thinking of it. So we speaking from experience here. Um, Black people put money before a, Morals. Mm. Before morals. Talk to them. They will do anything for the dollar. Talk to them. And don't see nothing wrong with it. (laughs) As long as they're getting a check. That's a fact. That's a super fact. Like sometimes, and this is talking about long-term thinking, you can always make money. It's just how how long are you willing to wait until you get there? You could build it slowly. And understand, fast money does go by fast too. Yeah, it does. You could yep. be up right now and it could be gone tomorrow. Just as fast as you get it, as fast as it's gone. That's that's a fact. Yep, that's facts. Um, this one isn't specifically for black people, but it affects us a lot. Um with the new format of content with the 30 second clips, the 60 second clips, the 10 second clips. It's no context, and then people just assume. Yeah. I would say this. Nobody looks for the context in any of video. Mm, talk to him. Remember that video with that uh 
that lady, we uh, found out that she was a scammer after saying that some dude hit her with a brick or a boulder or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. And then when you see the full video with the full context, it shows what really happened, how she incited the whole incident. Yeah. And nobody, everybody are quick to jump like, oh, this, that, and the third about, he shouldn't have done that, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. Well, maybe look to the reason why. It happened. Absolutely. That's a, a some advice that I will give, some reasonable advice. Take everything that you see on the internet with a grain of salt. Mm-hmm. You can't just believe that shit. Mm-hmm. And I'll say this. A lot of people think everything on social media is facts. Talk to them. Um, just because it's on a video doesn't mean that it's uh, the, the truth of everything. That's a fact. It's something called AI generated stuff. So you can tell me that real life, they can fabricate a lot of things. Talk to them. Talk to them. Uh, Ooh. Another one. The black community thinks of uh, opinions as facts. Oh, talk to them. They react to opinions like facts. Mm -hmm. You could speak your opinion. And even if they think you're wrong, they react to it like it's something that you said that's set in stone. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Because and like I said, you know, black people always uh, they go towards words. And more so they're more hurt by words than they are by actions. Damn, talk to him. Like, that shit is insane, bro. Like, you're telling me that somebody could come and talk shit to you and you're ready to completely crash out over anything that they say. But when they do something, you're you're not crashing out. Come on now. You know what else I see in the black community, too? We don't take care of anything that's not ours. So even mm. even though. Nah. Even though, like, we live in the community. Why is this shit always fucked up? Why is it always litter and trash all over the place? Actually, that's facts. Yeah, we don't take care of the stuff that's in, within our own community. We don't care for stuff that's in there. We rather support the outsiders than support our own community. Talk to them. And then complain about the reason why our city's fucked up or our town is fucked up. is because we never look in the mirror. Not Never. And we always think everything is competition. Everything is competition. Yeah, everything. We become the biggest haters. Yeah, we we the biggest haters. We even hate our own our own people. Own people. And this crazy part about it: black on black crime, bro. Oh, talk to them. We literally killing our own people. Talk to them over dumb shit. Like they say, okay, Black Lives Matter, but do but really does Black Lives really matter? We only outrage when. A white person kills a black person mm-hmm. or somebody that's not black does it. Mm-hmm. But when somebody that is black kills somebody or has a problem with somebody, we justify it. Yep. Like you see it in the music. You see it in, in social media rants. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just beefing with this dude and this and the third. Bro, why don't you stop? Why don't want? Why don't you try to stop it? Why don't you try to say like this is not right? We'd be like, oh, yeah, this and the third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go out there and blah, blah, blah. But when is a, a police officer that does it? No, nope, it's, it's a big problem. The black community also only cares about surface level shit. Mm-hmm. They don't go underneath the surface to see the character of a person. If that person has clothes that they want, designer clothes and nice clothes, nice car and all that, whatever that dude says is law. Mm-hmm. It don't matter if he's a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Just because he looks like he's rich his word is law. Mm-hmm. That's facts. That is definitely facts. And I'll also say this too. Black people, actually, let me say black people. The black community would not spend a dime on supporting your business, but I promise you, they'll definitely donate to your GoFundMe. <clears throat> Talk to them. GoFundMe for your funeral. <sighs> yep. Talk to them. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy to say that, bro. What was the most... All right. So you grew up in Jersey or you grew up in America. Ever since you was a kid, Mm -hmm. what was something that you questioned about the black community to this day? Why the fuck are we so... Just to show the longevity of our problems. Why the fuck are we so aggressive towards our own people? Mm, Talk to one. Like we can't have friendly conversations. 
we can't even look at each other without trying to think that you out to get to somebody. Yeah, or it's beef first. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy to think that somebody, like... The black community praise beef, too. Mm-hmm. We praise beef, like... I don't need, like, I don't even know what. As soon as somebody is in a beef... Everybody, every- everybody comes up the woodworks. <laughs> yep. It's like, we come together to support the beef... But when somebody comes together to support us and to support the community and come together, nobody wants to be Non-existent. Non-existent. You see it on all the activists. You can see it on all the community people. Nah, but we gathering around the street niggas to fucking uh, make sure that they're able to to do what they do. (sighs) An issue that I've always seen since I was growing up with the black community. Let me think. Something that I always used to question since I was young. It's, it's a lot of things that we already mentioned. I'm just trying to think of something specific. Um, the black community idolizes celebrities. I never got that since I was a kid. Um, yeah, we, yeah, we know why. Yeah, we know. Um, I'm just pointing out how long it's been going on. Like, since I was a kid, especially the rappers. Black people take... Black, the black community takes the rapper's word as law as well. Mm -hmm. You know what it is though? It's because they idolize celebrities. Well, I would say this. Black people idolize celebrities or the black community idolize celebrities is because and within our own community, none of us make it out. Talk to them. And you want to know why none of us make it out? It's because we never support one person to get up to that point. Talk to them. Talk to them. I'll tell you this. The one person that makes it out to society or makes it out to community is always supported by other people outside the community. That's yeah. the craziest part. Yep. Strangers treat you better than the people in your own community. Mm-hmm. It's because they don't want you to do better than them. Damn. Damn. That's another one. The black community do not want to see a nigga doing better than them. Mm-hmm. They cool with you doing the same thing as them or even worse. But once you start doing a little bit better, now they try and knock your head off. Oh my goodness. It's crazy, bro. It's like it's like a crab crab in a uh, barrel mentality. That's bro. exactly what it is. Once some person try to come out and then they all trying to bring you down. It's crazy to think about that. That is exactly what it is. Um I I I was going to say, what do you think is some of the solutions for these things? But nah, I, it's, it all starts with inside, bro. Yeah. And, and I was going to say, it always comes a, back to that accountability and that victim mentality. Yeah. One of those two things. And also, you got to just work on yourself as a person, bro. Like the fact that you can't sit down and see like if somebody's doing better or somebody's trying to do better for themselves. Like you can't sit there and, and, and want bad for them, bro. You got to support them. And support goes on long, a long way. And... Support is not always in money. Mm, talk to them. Like, bro, if somebody has a business, sharing them on social media is free, bro. And and they have so much pride to not do that. But they're quick to share somebody else's business, somebody else's post. You feel what I'm saying? Another celebrity's post. But your own boy that's trying to do better for himself or try to do something good for the community, you won't share. You won't put it on your Instagram. That's a fact. The... The black community is also obsessed with gossip. Yes, drama, violence, mm. anything to do with negativity. It's such a negative, it's like a big ass negative cloud around the community, bro. And every time that positive light rays try to shine through the negativity, nobody wants to see the light. That's a fact. Nobody wants That's to see the light. That's a fact. Um, anything positive in the black community is just not, it's not valued. Black people, the black community also, um, they also shun you if you're different. If yeah. you, if you, if you're not from here or not even like the same here. trends, Do the um, thing. it's a follower mentality. Yeah, definitely. You can't be an original person in the black community. Mm, talk to them. You gotta be one of the sheeps. Talk to them. And if you try to be a lion, Best believe they're taking you out. Let me see if I got some some more interesting comments up here too, because we uh we really did enjoy y'all 
commentary on the last episode that we spoke about the black community. If you still got some more, you can um yeah, no, definitely. you can go on. I'll look through the comments because that that was a that really shocked me. I didn't think that people would really come out like this. Let's see. Ooh. And somebody said that uh say the, say the the name and stuff so we can post it. Okay. So Jaway Shooter, I would say Jaway Shooter says racism is not holding you back from anything you are. Talk to him. Yeah, the days of the racism and everything. Now, don't get me wrong. I I don't want to be downplaying like we we weren't oppressed before. Yeah. You know, and, and I don't want to be oblivious and think that I was having this conversation with a good friend of mine and it was like the angel and the devil on the shoulder because I was on the phone with a dude and a girl. My boy was saying that racism barely exists anymore. And I do agree with him on that. But Shorty pointed out a great point. The racism is invisible now. It's inside of the system. So why are there still so many hoods in America? Why are we giving away money to different countries and not fixing our own shit? And every time the shit that's not being fixed is in the black communities. That makes me think that racism still exists. They don't want to see us get to the next level. They don't give us the tools, not saying that we need them or we need to be begging for them. Of course, we have to take our own accountability as well, but I just thought that was a good caveat and a good point. I don't want y'all to think that I'm just like, yo, it never existed or it still doesn't exist. Nah, obviously it's still some very prominent things holding us back, especially trying to get into the business world and all of that. It's, it's, it's there, but, um, it's not as, as deep as we think. It's yeah. not like how it used to be. I would say the black community has too much pride for things that they don't work for. Mm, talk to them. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. They don't know how to be humble, bro. Oh, they don't know how to be humble. Yeah. As soon as they get something nice, as soon as they get something shiny, you got to shit on everybody. <laughs> like <laughs> that's a fact. You should be grateful for the things that you get and remember that you can lose it at any time. Mm. But the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, as soon as somebody gets something in the hood, bro, they start, they driving around town or you know what I'm saying? They may be passing through that block. That's a fact. They making sure that everybody sees it. They, they got it yeah. all over. You're right. They got to shit on niggas. You're definitely right about that. And the crazy part is that's, that's only going to detriment you, buddy. Mm. Let me see. Okay. Javaris. Javaris underscore says, stop settling for being a BM or a BD and actually get married. Hmm. But that, that goes back to a lot of things too. Talk to them. Nobody knows what marriage is. Talk they haven't to seen them. it. They haven't mm. seen it. So how could how do you expect somebody to become married if they've never seen it? That's a fact. That is a fact. All you see around nowadays is just baby mamas and uh baby fathers. Yeah, the culture. Separations. Yeah, the culture is is broken now. It's 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 not about family no more. It's not about values anymore. Nope. It's about what I can get out of the other person short term. Mm -hmm. They're not thinking long term anymore. And then once once somebody and we're we're quick to to leave over things that that we're not trying to work for. Mm. We're quick to do that. Talk to them because once something happens that doesn't benefit them, oh I'm out. I'm, I could find better. I could do better. And the only thing is, is gonna, the crazy part is. A lot of people get away with that when they're young and still have that same mentality when they're older. Yeah, definitely. Just yeah. understand that like you can probably get away with oh leaving over everything when you're young, but when you start to get into that, you know, 30 creeping up into the 40s, you feel what I'm saying? Like you only have so much time. That's a fact. So you better try to start making things work with your your significant other or That's you, might, a fact. you might be alone for the rest of your life. A lot of people in the black community too never grow up. Yeah, they have that same kid mentality from when they were younger and nobody's ever. And then when somebody tries to tell them about something, oh, it's always a battle. 
Yeah, oh, I would say this about the black it's community. Pride. I'll say this about the pride, black community. man. It's definitely pride. When somebody's saying something as criticism for you to get better, why do you always take it as an insult? Mm, talk to him. Even if it's true. Talk to him. I don't even know. I don't, I don't, I don't have the answer for that one. It's again, I don't, it's I don't, pride, bro. It's, yeah, it's a chip yeah. at their armor. armor. Motherfuckers think that they Superman, that they're perfect, and I, I, there's nothing wrong with me, and I'm <laughs> I'm the greatest human being. No, the fuck you're not, bro. You're not. You can always improve every step of your life until the, you die. The black community also never thinks they're wrong. Never. Never. They could be wrong, caught red-handed, blood on their palms, and they will cap you down. Or at least they won't think they're lying, but... They will ride so hard for an idea that they did not research. Yep. And you want to know why that is, right? Why? Because the black community, all we do is justify wrong. Mm. We justify the killings, the shootings, um, the stealings. You feel what I'm saying? Theft, all that other stuff, right? <laughs> Violence, beefing with each other. Like... We we justify we justify and we promote all the wrong things so we think it's right. Yep. The black community's priorities are all out of whack too. Yeah. I would definitely say that. Oh, another one, right? And this is not just towards the black community, this is just this could be any any type of man or whatever. Talk to him. Man. Your number one goal in life, especially for the black man, because you know, we don't have families anymore as we should have and we don't have that community um of our families your number one priority should be to build a name that is worth giving to your family talk to them talk to them bro you gotta think about you gotta think long term Mm -hmm. your name should be a foundation in which your family could stand on absolutely Absolutely. Like it has to mean something. Absolutely. We don't think about reputation and and our our word as much as we should. Mm -hmm. I mean, they do, but for the wrong reasons. Mm, Talk to him. Talk to him. Elaborate. Get right. I would say, especially us in the black community, we want our reputation instead of being um, this person that's respectable, this person that's responsible, the person that when I'm outside... Everybody's want to come together with me. No, I want to be tough. I want to be known as this bad guy. I want to be feared. Yeah, I want to be feared. Do you know that most people that are feared eventually do get knocked off? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like you can run, you can rule with fear for a very long time, but eventually you will be gone. Yep. And it, and then... When you try to control people with fear, the people in your crew Hate start you. to build. Exactly. They Animosity. start to build. Yeah, exactly. You Animosity. took the word right out of my mouth. Bro. You, you build with love and care and you always take care of people. The people around you is going to take care of you forever. That's a fact. It's called loyalty. That's a fact. People who rule through fear or people who want to be feared, feared will never have loyal people around them. Absolutely. Um. Jeez, you got any more? I'm, I'm, we, okay, we, yeah, we're using these episodes right now, the last episode and this episode, to point out the issues. We'll speak about the solutions more on the next issues. But first, everybody who actually wants to make change in their lives know that you have to admit the problem first. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're doing. We're admitting to these. We're pointing them out. We're making observations. And let me say this. For those who are watching, right? We are not above anything that we are saying. We Talk also have had these these problems and issues ourselves. And Talk we're, to we're probably currently within these problems and trying to help each other work into getting better. Every so, day. Every day. This is what I want you guys to do. Comment down below as a black community the things that we need to do to get better and to prosper. Yes, sir. Ski. This is the Hood Analyst Podcast. We talk about that real hood. Shh. Yo, just like just said, write down the solutions in the comments. 
Any other observations that y'all have that y'all want to point out that think you think need to be said, said, shed light on? Please put it in the comments, man. And we will shout you out and make sure that your comment is heard throughout the entire world. Absolutely. We out.